1967 was the beginning of the head of state award scheme. More than 750 young Ghanaians have benefited from this initiative, and more than 15,000 have participated in the awards each year. But one major setback they face is a permanent administrative office space. The Ghana Awards House, when completed, will fill this gap. The two-story edifice, when completed, will house offices, a training center, and conference room to house the Secretariat of the Head of State Award Scheme. The board chairman of the scheme, Mr. Harry Sintim Abwaje, said a permanent office will help the scheme a lot. I am fully aware that today's short cutting is only a first step towards the realization of the Ghana Award House, and we have to work even harder to complete the Award House dream. President Akufuadu, who is the chief patron of the award scheme, said the government will continue to invest in youth development in the country. Once completed, the threats of eviction from landlords, which the organization has endured for some time now, will be a thing of the past. It will be constructed at a cost of 5 million CDs, and it will help drive growth impact and the effective and efficient delivery of the award scheme to all young people in Ghana and beyond. Ghana will be the second country in Africa after the President's Award of Kenya, one of the few countries globally to have its own administrative office. I place great hope in the capacity of Ghanaian youth to shape our future and make Ghana truly the black star of Africa. I'm happy to announce that in support of the operation of the award secretariat, its operational costs will continue to be borne by the office of the president under the direct supervision of the chief of staff. Vehicles are also to be allocated to the secretariat for its use. In addition to the one million CD contribution to this project, government pledges to do what it can to ensure that the project is completed in the next 36 weeks. The award scheme creates numerous opportunities for young people and also helps them to deal with challenges of life. The scheme is in affiliation with the Duke of Edinburgh International Awards, which runs in about 130 countries.